is the end result of my flash drawing of a street. Well, uh, it's not that perfect, but uh, looks good. And I, I think I'm proud of it. It's, it's been a long time, but uh, I see it as a very good artwork. My own little Picasso. So the next part of this tutorial will be an introduction to how we actually use most of the tools within the flash development environment to draw all of this. Okay, mostly the paint too. Okay, so let's go to the tutorial now. The whole idea is just to create a street. Yeah. Uh, most of the tools that I've used so far, let me get rid of this. Most of the tools that I've used so far is uh, the pen tool. You know, just use the pen tool to get the edges the way I want it to be and how I want it to look like. So what I've done here is my my own made-up skyscraper. Uh, here, when you, you're looking at here, you see the sky. The sky itself is made up. If I come here, you can see how I've made up the sky. You can you see that? That's how I've made up the sky. Okay. And uh, I then use the. Uh, you know what I was saying the property for the property for this uh, very sky. You can see I've used the. Uh, what is known as a blur and I've set it to 50. Now if I change it, let's say I change it back to 5, this is what you get. Can you see that? Okay, can you see that? That's what you get, which is exactly what I've having what I have in here. You, see, you can always make this up, that's no big deal to make. Okay, if I go back to the property, I can always change it to what around one, let me say 60. And you see that it gives you just uh, a simulated form of a cloud, and that's what I've done here as well. Exactly the same thing. What I've done here is I have about 80. But if I change it to five, what you get is you see that, guys, that's what you get. Okay, that's using the property. The property that I used in here is the filter. Okay. So all I just need to do now is take it back to 80 and that's it, back to what it was. Well as for the walls, what I've done is I've actually used the pen tool. If I click on the pen tool, click in here, you can see what I've done. Okay guys, so uh, with the aid of the pen tool, you see, I select anywhere here. I've been able to align the area and what I into what I intend to do. Okay, can you guys see that? That's just using the pen tool. And yeah, once the area is selected, all I just do is select whatever color I intend to use. Just for an example, look at this color right here. Okay, if you look at it, it's a E. Then the color is about E five D two A seven, which is right up there. Okay, if I come in here now, that's my color right there. I can always fill here up, and you see that. So that's just what I've done using the pen tool. But if you go, let me go back and just undo my fill. I've done undo my fill. And you can see some of the cloud this area that's not how I want it I'm going to be using something else this is supposed to be there's supposed to be a building here which I intend to complete and uh, right here is another skyscraper yeah you can see my cloud oh sorry the, the sky has not covered this part of it which uh, let me just see if I can cover that Okay, drag it across. Yep, 
that's it covered and this part of my skyscraper needs to be covered as well and this side needs to be covered too okay that's my all my skyscraper covered and here there's gonna be some block of flats here I intend to convert these areas to to a church building there should be some maybe flower or grass field that's something to make this area look better and you can still see some of the background is white so if I come here now this is supposed to be the sort of like a road a driveway where you can drive into the, 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 the street okay it's a little bit uh, time consuming but anyone can do that okay just cover it here up that's done okay underneath the the, the grass land I have in here you can see see white background which means uh, I still need to cover that up all I just did is just one flower all I need to do is hold down the control and just cop just copy it across which is very very easy to do anyone can do that okay so so guys you, you can do that as well as well fill that up my grass line okay that's how I'm going to create my street scene or oh, but uh, it's going to be easy it's time consuming but you just need to be patient to do that there's supposed to be a walkway here into the block of flats which is now completed here all I just need here is to enter some uh, windows it's not perfect but uh, you will enjoy it as, as soon as this uh, this artwork is finished all I'm just using is flash and I seems to enjoy it if you have any comment just let me know so I'll continue with it and just fill you back let you know what I've done so far okay for this uh, part of it which is just like the flower bit what I want to do now is just hide the flower okay so we use the pen tool let's highlight about this area the whole idea is just to convert this whole part of it to maybe a green field so that uh, you would not be able to see all of the area that is sort of like white within the drawing so I'm just gonna cover it all up now okay so then look for a suitable color let me look for a suitable color maybe something a little bit dark okay. nah maybe that's too dark let's go for something like this mm, okay okay not too bad get rid of the strobe line I don't need any strobe line I'll get rid of that later on okay you see I've officially filled that area up now if I decide to enable my flower you see that right underneath here looks like uh, it's all green green line so let, let me go back and get this area sorted as well then my pen tool that's my pen tool just fill up this area so okay my pen tool there and yeah, fill it here up yes. I may have a I seems to be having there yeah, for that up okay, just get the paint fill there up yeah it's now filled let's see if I can use the pen to to get that area sorted as well I 
I just have a patch here. I believe my grass cover that area. Let me just um, reveal this area. Okay, that's it. It's all covered using my pen tool. Yeah, you see that? But there are some. I have some uh, maybe grass field there that needs to go. Let's get rid of them. I really don't need these ones. It's like grass growing on the tree, which means uh, there's no maintenance is taking place. We really, we really want the area to be maintained. It really look beautiful. Okay, that's what I've done so far now. It's looking the way I want it to look. We just move this one up there, move this one up there. We get a bit of grass here. Yep, that's fine, guys. Okay. So it's looking the way I want it to look like. So I'll show you the end result of this later on. But right now, we need to work on this area because I want this area to be my church, which I'm going to work on. It's uh, part of the church building, which is like the vicarage. But uh, let's cover here up. Um, yeah, let's pull that. No, I don't like it the way it is. Got it. Move this down a little bit. Yeah, that's covered now. All that is covered. So the street here needs to be covered as well, and this edge needs to be covered. Okay, so I'll cover. That's fine. Yeah. So this side, I will add some grass field in there, just to change it. And. Uh, completely the windows the, the, of the building right here okay so let's let's start work on this area okay guys the next thing I'll do is to add another layer and this layer I'm just gonna call it doors okay right I intend to draw doors here so just so uh, let me get my Drawing tool here. Let's change the stroke line to about four or let's say six, and that's white. And I want the feel to be something gray. So let me just uh, start by drawing from here, and uh, let's go, go this way. I'm gonna make it a little bit larger down. Maybe right down here. That's not straight enough. So let me just and this. And I'm gonna need just a straight line. Let's say a straight line right in here. Be the inside with something a little bit gray. But before that, let's draw another. Yeah, that's good. Now let's now fill the inside with something very grayish. And maybe up there a little bit, let it look a little bit darker. All right, so my flower, bring it back home. I'll then drag this timeline right underneath underneath the flower background so that's the main entrance to the building so I now need to fill up all this area let's change the color to something yeah that's fine so I'll then draw this area and fill it up the white sort of like looked so to the doors there so now, next thing I'll do is uh, fill up this opening and add a couple of windows here. So, unlock all of this, I'm fine. This very layer, okay, I found it. So, let's just move it across. 
once it's attached to the building. It's attached to the building. And uh, all of this area, let me use my pen tool, lock everything, put that in the, let's use the pen tool to sort of like fill up everything here. I think I think the that's a bit too thick. Let's change that to about two. Yeah, that's a lot of these uh, roads or something a little bit darker or dark gray. Now let's come here. Change that to something a bit dark gray. Yeah, that's that's fine. Now this wall here needs adjustment. This has been a very long tutorial. I'm getting tired now, so I might as well just fill up this area with some let me look for little trees. Get rid of those ones. Move that in there. That's my street scene, guys. It's not too bad. So let's hope you like it. And this building right here, there's an opening there. Let's get rid of that opening. Maybe drag this sky. Let's drag this sky a little bit down. Not the tree. Move this down a little bit. Okay. So this is behind the building. Okay, so let's just test it and see what I've done so far. Okay, guys, it's not looking too bad. Maybe one or two windows here. And I guess the seal teams up one or two windows here, and that'll be all. So, let's run this program now. Well, guys, <clears throat> this is the end result of a painstaking tutorial. Well, uh, I hope you all enjoyed and uh, hopefully you should be able to do something much better than this. Well, I'm going to call it a day and uh, thanks for watching. Thank you. I'm tired. <laughs>